All right, everybody, welcome back to the OptiShot Academy. I'm Chad. And I'm Ben. All right, we want to train club head speed. We want that thing moving faster and faster. Last couple of weeks you've been training it. This week, we want to introduce to you our favorite tool for training speed. It's called the jet stick. So Ben is holding that here in his hand, and we literally have the weight on the end of a stick. So back to the sensing one, swing the weight conversation. You got it. Okay, so Michael Romatowski has this Mach 3 speed training program. He's out of San Antonio, and he has these tools, and we've found fantastic results. So we'd like to show you how to use it. And then if you don't have one of the jet sticks yet, we're gonna show you how to use what you have at home so you can simulate the same idea. What do you got for him, coach? Cool, so the first thing we would recommend is if you have a Mach 3 speed trainer in your area, please seek them out. This stuff works. I can tell you from my own experience, when I started the Mach 3 speed training program, I started at 99 miles per hour, and I've worked my way all the way up to averaging 110. So for those of you at home, for every one mile per hour you pick up, it's three yards in distance. So it's very, very important that we train speed, and I'm telling you, this stuff works. So what we have for you today is we're gonna actually train the speed. So I'm gonna do three different activities. So every one of these activities, we're still trying to feel the speed out front. Let's do the first one. So I'm gonna do a half back swing, feeling the speed out front. I'm gonna do a set of six. Okay, show us what that could look like here. So you at home, as you watch Ben, he's trying to swing it halfway back and get the speed out front. You could notice that the swing actually goes a little bit longer. That's no problem. It's actually going to look normal uh, when you're doing it or if you're putting your swing on video. So the intention of halfway back actually gets to a pretty good looking backswing. Is that what Yeah, it really see? does. It's fascinating to us how much it can change somebody's mechanics. So if you have a backswing that's maybe a little bit long, when you're feeling the half backswing speed out front, you might notice that the back swing goes back maybe a little farther than what you think and you're able to generate more speed than what you can with your current back swing. So the hidden benefit of this type of training is that it actually improves the swing mechanics without talking swing mechanics. It does, it's so simple. The sequencing changes, you get more speed. You might even notice that the strikes become more efficient. How about that? So you did halfway back speed out front six times. What yep. you got? What's the next uh, pr uh, progression? Next progression is going to be normal length back swing, speed out front, set of six. All right, here we go. So in this, you're trying to go as fast as you can out front. Is that true? That is true. Everyone's feeling a little faster. Okay. Oh. So speed training is important that you're trying to go fast as you can. So if you wanted to be a sprinter, trying to jog a marathon isn't going to help you go faster. You literally have to try to run as fast as you can. Speed training is that way. So don't hold anything back. We're not trying to be perfect. Get that thing moving. What's the third step in this progression? Third step in progression, uh, we left this part out, is very, very important. Be sure that your heart rate returns to normal before you start the next progression. So you don't want to wear yourself out when you're doing this. You're trying to train explosive speed. So make sure that the rest time in between, you know, gives you enough time to where the heart rate is normal and you can give maximum effort each time you do one of these sets. So when people do this at home, you could experience a little bit of shortness of breath. Your heart rate goes up. Like yeah, like right just, now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Do you need some water, man? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. What's the third progression here? Third progression here is going to be uh, two-way speed. So two-way speed. What you're going to try to sense is that your hands are going back to 9 o'clock, stopping at 3 o'clock. So it's, it's an explosive movement, 9 to 3. Once again, you're going to do six reps. Show us what that'll look like. Whoa. I'm going to need about 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so believe it or not, this is going to help you go faster. It's going to work on accelerating the club and slowing it down in both directions. It'll help you a lot. So if people do not have the jet stick yet, we encourage you to get one. Go to his website. Go to our website. You can get them. They're amazing. Um, what can they do at home immediately to start helping this? Another way to do this at home, if you don't have the jet stick quite yet, you can always just flip your golf club upside down and do the same thing. I'm not going to demonstrate it because I'm out of breath. And I got to hit a driver soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you could do the halfway back speed out front using that. Yep, same Two thing. Two-way speed using that. Just trying to get the speed of the club head moving more out front, yes? You got it. Okay. So what do you want to do? Do you want to let one go with the, the driver or the iron? Where are you at? Are you all right? You yeah, let's let it go. <laughs> I'm not all right, but I'll let it go with the driver anyway. All right, <laughs> all right here we go. So in this one, the game plan is to feel halfway back, speed out front. Is that true? 
Uh, that is one way of doing it. You can feel halfway back speed up front or you could feel your normal length backswing speed out front. We'd encourage you to run both of those plays just to see which one generates the max amount of club head speed for you. All right, where are you gonna go? Uh, we'll start with a half back swing speed up front. Let's see it. Okay. Not bad for a tired guy. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad and accurate too. Yeah, right down the middle, man. What's fascinating about this, for people that have uh, run through this, uh, we've seen this happen, is when they start to do this, their accuracy also improves. So it's been one of the most fascinating things to us is that not only do people get longer, it gets straighter. Get straighter. How about that? And more solid. And more solid. So it's a, what you call, two for the price of one. So what you can do is you can uh, kind of use your launch monitor at home to see what the speed was. So if you look at my speed on that last one, we we're at 107. So that was with me feeling the half backswing speed out front. Now I'm gonna feel the normal length backswing speed out front. And let's see if that number changed. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, man. You think it's gonna go further oh, than the last Oh, I beat right it. Oh no, it's gonna go in the water. That's it. Oh my goodness. That's pretty close to the 300 side. <laughs> if you played the British Open at St. Andrews, man. <laughs> That'd be in the that's drink. That's what they call double bogey. Let's see what the number was. Did it go up? Oh, my goodness. 115. 115. That's not bad. The speed training really works, man. <laughs> it's the real deal, I'm telling you. Okay, so to get better at your golf game, to get better with your golf swing, to hit the ball farther, have more fun, speed training where it's, is where it's at. We're going to continue... Uh, continue to encourage you to play around with this stuff at home. It'll only help you get better. Keep up your training. We'll look forward to seeing you the next time at the OptiShot Academy.